first dive of the day. Just arrived in Kappa. It's actually pretty nice. A little overcast, but temperature is not bad. Second dive of the day, second of three, and uh, the second one was pretty good. The first one, I gotta say, was a little uh, hairy. Uh, doing some uh, practice, uh, you know, taking the mask off, putting the mask back on, and uh, taking uh, the vest off and putting that back on. It. As soon as I took the vest off, which is where all my weight is, I'm not wearing a weight belt, I'm wearing an integrated uh, weight on my vest. As soon as I took my vest off, lost all uh, neutral buoyancy and I just shot up like a cannon and uh, it pulled the, uh, pulled the regulator out of my mouth and, and I had grabbed down for my tank, excuse me, and uh, Jay, my instructor, grabbed me and, and helped pull me back down. And so I was scrambling to get my regulator back in my mouth. I got it in upside down. I was all turned around upside down. And it was kind of a freaky, freaky moment there, a few moments. But uh, thanks to Jay, just kind of calmed me down a bit. And, uh, and yeah, just calmed me down, got me settled, got my uh, vest back on. and. Uh, regulator turned around the right way and was breathing calm down and then from there that, that first dive was pretty good Good morning. So I finished my open water dives this week and I'm happy to report that I now have my NAWI open water certification. It's a really great experience, a little frightening at times, but uh, overall I had a good time and I'm looking forward to getting back out there and doing a lot more diving. Now a couple lessons that I learned. If I'm going to continue diving here off the cooler waters on the California coast, I'm going to have to wear a fairly thick wetsuit which is going to create buoyancy. And simply having weights in my BCD vest uh, isn't going to be sufficient, so I'm going to have to supplement that with a weight belt system. Secondly, and perhaps more importantly, is never lose control over your BC vest. If you get separated from your breathing apparatus, that's just simply a recipe for disaster. Now, a personal observation that I have, something I've gained an appreciation for, and I think it's something that we as human beings tend to take for granted, simple things like gravity. 
you know, the ability to walk terra firma without the fear of being swept away by a simple light breeze, or the act of breathing, you know, the, the, the effortless and, and unconscious ability to take in life-sustaining air. You know, and the reality is we have basically a unending uh, supply of fresh, breathable air. Well, that's just something you don't have underwater, and it's definitely something you can't take for granted. Well, anyway, that's it for this week. If you have any diving experiences that you'd like to share or any comments or suggestions, please feel free to do so in the comments section below. Until next time, cheers.